Was flagged of the distribution of fertilizer and other agricultural inputs to farmers in the southwestern part of the country. It's part of sustained efforts to boost agriculture in the country. Addressing farmers and agricultural stakeholders at the flag of ceremony, Special Assistant to the President on Agriculture highlighted the President's continued commitment to support the agricultural sector in the country to ensure food security. We came here to present the intervention that the president gave to the southwestern part of Nigeria. So we were brought in from the private sector so that we can give the fertilizer to the genuine farmers. So we don't want people to go and sell it. What we are doing basically is actually to harness this land and convert them to commercial production so, such that we can get required support from the government both at the central at the at the at the sent from the federal government from the state government and also the new innovative i mean leadership by the by this current president what they have given us we are very very glad this fertilizer we've just had some from some of our senator and for some of our house of rep too very few of them have called us that they were being given by mr president on his uh, renew hope agenda and we are very glad we still want more so with what is on ground now, farmers are saying a very big thank you and we will assure them that we will make use of it and make the price of our produce uh, to come down. The Joint Border Patrol Team Sector 2 Southwestern Zone has made significant strides in the fight against smuggling and cross-border crimes. The team has reported the seizure of prohibited items valued at over 1.3 billion naira during operations conducted between July and August 2024. Ifunaya Eze reports. The coordinator of the Joint Border Patrol Team Southwest Zone Lagos, Mohamed Shwaibu, credited intelligence and collaborative efforts for the successful confiscation of 4,019 jerrycans of premium motor spirit seized across various locations. Through intelligence, and some of them will get on, on the creeks, some of them in, uh, on top of the water, then some of them in concealed in, uh, vehicle, and then this is not possible without intensive patrolling. This will not be possible without intensive patrol because if you have the intelligence and you've not gone out for it, you can't make the arrest. Deputy Controller Shwaibu also revealed that smugglers continue to employ dubious methods such as the smuggling of over 2,600 bags of foreign parboiled rice. Also intercepted were hundreds of bills of second-hand clothing, cartons of codeine syrup as well as large quantities of pangolin shells and cannabis sativa. In all, the seized goods are valued at over 1.38 billion naira. They use every means. They use every means. Because you can think of rice coming from a, an engine of a vehicle or coming from a boot of a vehicle, coming from a spare tire of a vehicle. So these are methods they adopt. And they do, apart from even that, that's what we call the first size, four bottom and whatever. You can imagine creating an additional body in a vehicle in order to beat officers. And we thank God we are always ready for them. In a further boost to government revenue, the team recovered over 26 million naira through debit notes issued on improperly imported goods. The more we do the anti-smuggling activities that is by blockage, by whatever method or by whatever uh, instant loss we apply, it's making us to realize more revenue. And that's the reason for the swelling of our revenue day in day out. So we are still on top of the game. We are going to be doing what we know how to do best. So if the smugglers are not relenting, we are also not relenting. And we are going to follow them up to where they are. With the approach of the final quarter of 2024, the Joint Border Patrol team says it will continue to intensify its efforts to tackle the growing desperation of smugglers and ensure national security. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos. And staying in Lagos, the leadership of the National Association of Nigerian Traders says it will be difficult for government to control the prices of commodities. They explain that the astronomic increase in price of petrol, instability in forex market, and inflation makes this unrealistic. President of the Association, Mr. Ken Ukoha, speaking at the opening ceremony of the Trade Facilitation West Africa program held in Lagos for small scale businesses and traders association across the country, stressed that Nigeria remains an import dependent economy where businesses battle daily with the exchange rate uh, crisis. Other respondents maintain that there is 
need, a need to facilitate cross-border trade to enhance growth of small and medium-scale enterprises across the country. When you talk about trade, we're also talking about productivity and the capacity to export to other countries. The capacity to move goods from one point to another outside the shores. And it is in that particular process that revenues are generated, foreign revenue is generated. It is in that particular capacity, that process, that you have the foreign exchange that could be leveraged upon to service the economy. Key important information for SME for them to be more enlightened on how to do trade across the borders. If government can adopt the, the recommendation, I think a lot of things can be done in Nigeria. Because depending on the political will, why are people smuggling this and this and that? So before you trade successfully, you must know certain things about the corridor you are going to follow. I'm about to import, uh, let's say, I want to import a bag of sugar now. I mean, a, a container load of sugar. Then I should go to customs, find out the details, the nitty gritty, the documentation, everything like that. So immediately I'm able to get that one. Like I always tell people, you can trade and you can still make your money without being a smuggler. Wrapping up business news, investors pressure on sales window taking cash out of their holdings sharply, crash securities prices in midweek business. FN Gekop reports will be back with football tonight. The nation's stock market suffered low trades in various sectors in reaction to pressure for cash by investors. The prime market indicator of trades and prices, the oil share index, declined in nearness to a percentage point, which underscored downward pricing and losses on investments. Construction giant Julius Baker was the biggest trade loser at more than 8%. Huge stocks of the company pushed sales pressure. Oando, Nascon, Sterling Bank, and GT Holdings all influence market close in red. Marginal percentages of gains came to major pens, Dangote Sugar, UBA, Access Holdings, and Flower Mills. In trade volume, the market crossed 600 million units of securities. Analysts said they expect subdued trade patterns in the weeks ahead. If you're on Ecop TVC News, Lagos.